Washington football fans, welcome back to another video. Um, sorry for the less than stellar background. Um, I'm in the process of moving and probably will actually be in a new place come next video. So that being said, that's another reason why these videos have been kind of, you know, unedited, just off scripted, just trying to, <coughs> excuse me, get these videos out to you as quick as I possibly can. Uh, so I apologize for the less than stellar uh, professionalism, but at any rate, let's get into this video. So match up with the New Orleans Saints. Okay, so here's my thought process. The Saints are one of the best teams. They have one of the best defenses that stops the run. <clears throat> now, depending on how healthy Antonio Gibson is going to be, we're going to have some issues more than likely uh, trying to run the football against the New Orleans Saints. And so you never want to become one dimensional when you have an offense. You you need to <clears throat> you need to come up with some sort of gadget plays, something that can kind of I guess offset such a strong run defense. Uh, because sometimes when you try to just, you know, I've I've seen this in the past where you've had offensive coordinators that are like, you know, I, we're going to have to establish run. But when they do it against such a great run defense and they're thinking it's just going to be man against man, you know, we're going to wear that defense down. And, you know, it's frustrating seeing it because, they are running the football and getting like one yard, two yards, and then setting themselves up for a third and long. And I think when you have such a strong run defense that you're trying to go against, you're going to have to do some gadget plays. You're going to have to uh, kind of like do like misdirections and things like that. Uh, you know, maybe like uh, sweeps and... Um, I don't know, that sort of thing as far as trying to establish the run game or uh, kind of like a West Coast offense where your run game, your short passing game is an extension of your run game. And, you know, so maybe some very quick uh, screen passes and things like that that starts to get that defense worried about trying to go out and, uh, you know, defend the perimeter and all that stuff. And then, you know, Basically, what you're trying to do is you're trying to stretch that defense out to where they're thinking, okay, obviously they know that we're very strong stopping the run, so they're trying to move out to the outside a little bit more. We're going to have to shift defenders out there, and then once you do that, you go, you go back and you try to start attacking their strength. And I'm not a head coach, <clears throat> but, you know, this is something that I think that uh, Washington may have to look at because you you still have to establish the run game even against the defense that is very tough against the run game. You can't rely solely on passing. Now, having said that, the passing game, I think we're going to have some success. Now, <clears throat> um, matchups, you know, I know they have a rookie uh, <clears throat> defensive back that's probably going to be matched up against whoever else is going to be healthy. Uh, I have a feeling it's going to be, we're going to see more of Curtis Samuel in this game. Uh, Deami Brown is hurt. He had limited uh, practice, I think, this week. And so he's he's kind of a question mark. I don't know if we're going to see Brown in this game. And if we do, we're probably not going to see him as much. And of course, you know, Cam Sims has... Uh, been hurt and been limited as well. So I don't know how much we're going to be able to see Cam Sims, if any at all. So we're starting to get a little bit thin there at the wide receiver position. Uh, so, of course, the Saints are going to have their eyes on Terry McLaurin. Um, and, and and so you're going, to, you're going to probably get double teams and things like that with Terry McLaurin. But if we can get Curtis Samuel more involved, and he could be one of those guys that can be in with these gadget plays that I was talking about, uh, establishing more of the run, maybe one of those uh, 
uh, what do you call it? The, uh, you know, where Curtis Samuel is, is the man in motion, the ball gets hiked and handed off to him really quickly for like a little sweep off to the side. We're probably going to see a few more of those. Uh, so yeah, I think we're going to have to, if, if Curtis Samuel is 100% healthy and ready to go, we're probably going to see a lot of him. I don't know if we're going to be able to just have him in for a handful of plays and that's it. Unfortunately, you know, not having Logan Thomas, guys like that, uh, Curtis Samuel is, is obviously going to see a little bit more playing time. So um, that is something that I think we're going to have to look at. I think we're going to have some success in the air, um, but we're going to have to still establish the run game, maybe not in the traditional sense. All right, so as far as on the other side of the football, the defense, all right, so it really all comes down to um, Alvin Kamara, and you have to stop him. He is like the switchblade knife of, <clears throat> I mean, he's more than a switchblade knife. I mean, Kamara can do it all, and you are going to have to stop Alvin Kamara. Um, Jameis Winston, he's played pretty well this year as well. Um, but still, Alvin Kamara, I think, is is what that offense is centered around right now. So Washington's going to have to focus on, you know, stopping him and making um, Jameis Winston beat us. I, I really think that's still the key of the game. You know, put put all the pressure on Winston. Um, now Winston, he can he can beat you now, but I really believe that. If we can limit Calvin or Alvin Kamara, you know, we have a chance. It's, it's going to be interesting. The Saints, they have been a little bit of an up and down team, but they're still a really good team. And I believe this is another one of those almost measuring stick type of games. Maybe not quite in the sense of how it was against Buffalo, but enough to where I definitely see the Saints being a playoff team this year even without uh, Drew Brees. So having said all of that, I really think this is going to be a tough game. It's a winnable game. It's a very winnable game, but it's going to be a tough game. And it's a start of, uh, you know, an onslaught of several very tough games for the Washington football team. I feel like if they can at least, you know, still a win here and there in the next few weeks, we have a chance. Um, so that is kind of my mindset right now. I'm not in that frame of mind, you know, the fan frame of mind where I'm like, we can win every single one of these games. I hope we do. You know, I mean, you should have that frame of mind of being able to say, hey, any given Sunday, right? But realistically, I realize it's going to be very tough. And until that defense starts cleaning up the mess that they have had in the last few weeks. They need to tighten down their the defense. They need to fix the issues that they've been having. Once they start to do that, I will start to have a little more confidence that this team truly can beat any team that they face on the football field. But it comes down to the defense, and they have to fix whatever it is that they are obviously have not been able to fix just yet. All right, that is it. Washington football team against the New Orleans Saints. It's a home game. So all of you fans that are going out to the game this weekend, you need to cheer extremely loud for the team. Um, you need to get behind this team because this team does feed off of you guys and you know for those of us who can't go to the games uh, don't live in the area to be able to go to the games on a regular basis we have to rely on you guys who can so you get out there you support this team i'm going to support this team from afar and until next time hell to the washington football team